If you're looking for things to do in Grants Pass, you're in the right place. Keep watching this video. Oh. You cannot come down to Grants Pass, Oregon without going to Dutch Bros. The owner of Dutch Bros is actually local to the area and he opened up a bunch of them, but the original one is on 6th Street, which you can see behind me. And they got all kinds of stuff. They got coffees, they got smoothies, they got blends, ice creams, all kinds of stuff. So uh, it's kind of a hot day, so I'm gonna go check out a smoothie, but I've had everything here and everything is great. And when I say they're everywhere, it's because they are everywhere here in Grants Pass. Mango peach, delicious. Let's go. Okay, so in downtown Grants Pass, they have all these bears everywhere on 6th Street, 7th Street, and everything in between. And they're conveniently placed, like this one is the post office bear, right next to the post office. So be on the lookout for the bears. There is a map next to the information center and it shows every single bear in Grants Pass. So check that out if you're really interested in seeing all the bears. We are gonna check out Tommy's Ice Creams. This is one of the two places that I recommend to come get ice cream here in Grants Pass. We are here at one of my favorite parks. It's called Rain Heart Volunteer Park, formerly known as All Sports Park. Actually, I still call it All Sports Park. And the reason why it was called All Sports Park is because they have all kinds of fields and sports here like soccer. They have baseball fields and they also have basketball fields. And we're going to go check out the fishing in a pond that they have here. They also have tennis ball courts and you could even play horseshoes here. We got a jumper. Oh, got one. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. That's a... Blue Gill one. number one right here. Meet him. Aww. Here we go. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. All the way up. There you go. Got it. Oh, come on. Fish. We got a fish. Come on. I told you it's hot. <laughs> you're a power. Yay. Okay, you're gonna throw it back oh. in. Throw it back in. There you go. Ooh. Oh, hey. So, two things I wanted to say about Oregon, not so much Grants Pass, but Oregon, if you haven't been here. Um, two things. One, there's no sales tax. So every time we come, we kind of stock up on clothes and we come once a year. So one thing is no sales tax. And number two is at gas stations, you do not pump your own gas. They pump gas here for you. I don't know what happens if you try to pump gas. Maybe you get arrested, maybe you get ticketed, not sure. Maybe they come out and yell at you, but you do not pump gas. And there is no sales tax here in Oregon. All right, so a new addition to Grants Pass is the In-N-Out Burger, and it is crazy packed. So if you're gonna come here, be ready to wait in line and wait for your food. So one of the top things to do here in Grants Pass is the Hell's Gates Jet Boat Excursion. And it's fun, exciting, and we do it every year. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go, everybody.
starting to get wet, and I see that water water. 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 Once you get dropped off, you get an hour and a half to eat. And we're here at the OK Corral, AKA the River Lodge, and they have a lot of good food. The Wonder Burr is the number one spot to go drinking. It is a dive bar, so they do not have food, but this is the number one spot, Grants Pass for drinking, right behind me. So I got my earrings. I really love them. And inside of this store, they have a lot of great stuff for you if you want to have like a souvenir from Grants Pass, or if you just like like different accessories or cups or frames they have a lot of great stuff you need to check it out so the second place i recommend to get ice cream which is my number one top spot it's blind george's that blind george's also has popcorn if you're looking for a good place to eat and you like fish and chips the laughing clam is number one spot here in grants pass which is right behind me and strategically placed next to blind george's so you could even get an ice cream for dessert right afterwards if you want some good mexican food hit up vf taqueria and that's in downtown grants pass I'm outside Grants Pass Pharmacy and here's where you could get some cool old school sodas, old school drinks. They got all kinds of flavors. It's uh, actually called Phosphorus and they also have ice cream. I know I only said I had two ice cream spots, but this is number three. And they also have like sandwiches. They have a little deli spot so they could make you a sandwich on the spot. Cool place to check out and nice to get an Instagram photo. I don't know, there's just something about Grants Pass. What do you think it is? It's the climate. It's the climate. <laughs> <laughs> we are right here in front of the Glass Forge here at Grants Pass. And I like it because you could go in there, you could blow your own glass. It's something you could keep. And also they sell blown glass inside. They got all kinds of stuff. They even have earrings and everything. So come check it out. This is something to do here in Grants Pass. I'm here at the Growers Market, AKA Farmers Market. You could get all kinds of your produce here and it is fresh because it's coming straight from the farms here in Oregon and in Grants Pass. You got your vegetables, you got your fruits, you got your jams, you could even get food here. We got gyros, we got a little bit of everything here. So this is a must do when you come to Grants Pass, Oregon. So across from the Growers Market, you have the Artisan and Crafters Market, another place you could check out. They don't have produce here they have all kinds of crafts like wooden things they have statues they have rocks they have a little bit of that kind of stuff if you're interested in that right next door to the growers market and they even got shaved ice here I got small rainbow And it tastes amazing. <laughs> If you want to check out the Grants Pass Art Museum, it is free and you can just come in, look at all the art and free. So something to do. If you want the best burgers in town, you already know, you got to come to Jimmy's, which is right behind me right here. Boom, Jimmy's. Burgers, fries, delicious. 
All right, you guys, I know that I said Reinhardt Park was in first place, but I have a close second place, and I mean real close. I am here at the Riverside Park, and it is beautiful. We have, you can see behind me, we have a nice little play area for the kids. And then on my other side, we have a little water park for the kids, and the kids love it. Where else could you go that you have a view to the river? You could feed the ducks here. Oh my God. <laughs> you could even have a birthday party here. Happy birthday! Surprise! Oh my God. Oh, go, go! Get it! Oh my god! Nurse! Oh. Nurse. Hold on! Oh. Stop! Stop! Oh. Nurse! Get out of here. Hold on you guys, I just came up on a pile of candy no. right here. No, 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 no. <laughs> India, India, you were making wings! Yay! Yay! And if you get real lucky, you might find somebody singing here at the park. July and I just hit town and my throat was dry. Thought I'd stop and myself a brew. I mean, where else could you drink out of a lion's mouth? Hey, what's happening guys? Thanks for being here. Listen, we're gonna put in at um, Hog Creek. We're going from Hog Creek, we're gonna float all the way down to Galice Resort which is really not that long, but it's quite wild and very scenic. We're gonna have a great time. We're very excited, super pumped. Let's do this. We are on our way to Hogs Creek now. We're in the shuttle van, people. Top thing to do in Grants Pass is to get on the Rogue River. It doesn't matter how you get on, whether you're on a jet boat, a fishing boat, if you're on a raft like us, uh, you could get on a Tahiti, a canoe, whatever. Just get on the Rogue River, and that is pretty much the top thing to do here in Grants Pass. here at wildlife images it's not in grants pass but it's only a 15 minute drive and if you come out here i think that you will like it the kids loved it i loved it they have all kinds of animals we have bears all the way in the back wolves foxes and they have american eagles and they have vultures they have everything here i recommend that you guys come check it out I want to let everybody know that they specialize in rehabilitating the animals. They get them fixed up and they release them back to the wild. If they're not ready to go back to the wild, they actually keep them here. And these are the ones that's on display, the ones that are here and that cannot go back to the wild. Okay, so for all my fellas, I want to get the fresh cut. I come to Rogue Barbers for my haircuts. There's a reason they're number one in Southern Oregon Magazine. That's because they get the freshest cuts. I'm about to go inside with the owner, Ron, and he's about to cut my hair right now. Let's go.
All right, you guys, what do you think? Just got my hair cut by Ron. Let him know Caesar from Caesar Cinema sent you. He will hook you guys up. Down. If you want to take a picture with the huge caveman statue, which is the mascot of Grants Pass, it's right next to In-N-Out Burger. If you're from Grants Pass or you've ever been to Grants Pass and I left something out, please comment down below like what's your favorite restaurant or what's your favorite thing to do. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up like. If you want to, go ahead and subscribe. You won't be disappointed. And like I said, comment down below. Any questions is welcome. I will see you on the next video.